The watercolor Syrian artist Etab Hreib creates near her small Damascus studio used to be the taste of the town. In this once ardently socialist state, she had a loyal clientele, the government. But that's all changing now. Syria is liberalizing its economy and foreign capital is flooding into the country. And the dominant taste for art is shifting from a domestic one that Etab could once cater for to an international one, which she is unable to adjust to. As a result, the canvases in her studio are piling up unsold. <laughs> Despite this turn in fortunes for older generation artists like Etab, Syrian contemporary art is booming. By some estimates, its value grew 500% in the past four years. The growth is also part of a regional trend. I think ever since 9-11, there's been a radar on, on the Middle East in general. Part of that radar was the opening of major Western art dealers, Sotheby's and Christie's, in Dubai in 2005. But it's small galleries like Zamawi's Ayam Gallery that are spearheading what is effectively the privatization of the art scene in Syria, and they're meeting with considerable success. We opened in Damascus with five artists, and since then we represent a uh, approximately 20 artists and uh, we have a, a gallery in Dubai and a gallery in Beirut now. We're pushing the envelope, you know, we do 10 art fairs a year approximately. So we're taking a Yams artist to New York, to Miami, to Palm Beach, to Basel, to Hong Kong, to Beijing. These new expanding dimensions of the once closed Syrian art scene are producing a new breed of artists who, like Kai Salman, are abandoning the techniques and preoccupations of their forebears for art that is more sellable beyond Syria. And this shift is showing in the skyrocketing price tags. <laughs> While artists like Kais are meeting with fortunes their predecessors never dreamed of, there is a widening rift opening up between them and the older generation of artists like Eta Prabe, many of whom served as their teachers and mentors. But not all the older generation of artists have found themselves unable to adapt, and those few who have are now weeping the benefits. Also, the government hasn't completely abandoned the arts. At this sculpture initiative on the banks of the Barada River in Damascus, the government has provided a space and stone for older generation artists like Syria's famed sculptor Mustafa Ali to work side by side with newcomers like 22-year-old Kamer Amr. It's one way to bring old and young together and re-establish at least a creative continuum between the generations. Syria is on the path of change, and the journey of economic liberalization comes with complaints from many quarters. But for the arts, says Mustafa Ali, a golden era is dawning.